Earlier, we mentioned how it is essential for a video story to catch and hold the viewer's attention at the beginning. How do you structure the beginning of your story to get and hold the viewer's attention? In this lesson, we will start to learn how by first watching and then breaking down an example. First, here's the example clip in its entirety. Here's the opening story from the first video in this course. Have you ever had one of those days? One of those long days that is packed with meetings from start to finish? It was one of those days in Nairobi and it was finally close to the end. There were just two more presentations left at an education NGO that helps children with learning disabilities. Paul and Mary could see it in their colleagues' spaced out eyes. Everyone was already exhausted and just ready to go home. Paul went fast. That's our sample introduction. Let's break it down and analyze it. We know from our story problem video that the story problem is here. We have the characters. We have the setting. In the very next lesson, you will develop the opening for your story. In the previous lesson, we analyzed an example to illustrate the key elements of a good opening. In this lesson, we'll introduce a worksheet you can use for this. With your story idea in hand, let's start filling out the opening worksheet. First, what is the story problem? Second, who is the main character of the story? And are there any other characters? Third, what is the setting for your story? Fourth, how might you trigger curiosity about your story in a way that will hook in your viewer? If you're not sure how, don't worry. The next lesson will be about triggering curiosity. How will you relate the topic to something that the viewer might have already experienced? Try to fill out the worksheet as much as you can at this point. But don't worry if you're not yet able to fill it out to your satisfaction. You may find yourself revising it as you go through the rest of this course. Give yourself at least 20 minutes to complete this exercise. Triggering curiosity. You may already be convinced, yes, I understand the value of curiosity. I understand the need to capture viewers' attention at the beginning to get them to watch the rest of the video. But you may be wondering, how do I do that? Are there any tools or tricks I can use? Yes. The secret is in what George Lewinstone, a professor at Carnegie Mellon University, calls the information gap theory of curiosity. Here is the core of this theory. Curiosity is triggered when we feel a gap between what we know and what we want to know. We want this gap to be closed and it triggers a feeling, a need that is like a hunger. When we are aware of this gap, we feel it. We want to take action. And in the context of a story, that action is to keep paying attention to the rest of the video, hoping to close that gap in our knowledge. How do you set up that gap in your story? Let's illustrate with an example, analyzing how we set up that curiosity. Here's an excerpt from an earlier lesson in this course. Have you ever had one of those days, one of those long days that is packed with meetings from start to finish? Then we contrasted that with the other side of the information gap, what our viewer wants to know. It was one of those days in a workshop here in Nairobi, where an NGO that helps children with disabilities were left with making two more presentations. By calling attention to this gap, in this case, putting it in the form of a question, or a riddle, we can trigger the viewer's curiosity. In the script for your story, keep this framework in mind as you trigger curiosity at the beginning of your story. One, what might the viewer already know? Two, what might the viewer want to know? And three, how can I call attention to this gap? For example, how might I put this gap in the form of a question or a paradox? One note of caution, don't create curiosity that you aren't going to later satisfy, where there's no eventual payoff for your viewer. If you do this repeatedly, people will stop paying attention to you. And these methods for triggering curiosity will be useful not only in the beginning of your story, but also in the middle, as you create and release tension with various supporting points. We will cover that in our next lesson.